That's the value of ownership. Once a year, my family makes tamales. This year, I get to help. We make so many. Abuela says that since I am helping, I get an extra special tamal. Abuela even has to tie a bow around mine so that everyone knows it's for me, her favorito. The best part of the day is unwrapping the tamal like a little present. Happy Holidays from Vallarta Supermarkets. It's time for the Ford Last Call Celadon. That's right, it's last call for these year-end deals. Get 0% APR financing on the Explorer, or you can get up to 6,000 Ford cash back on the Bronco Sport. Get here fast. The Ford Last Call Celadon ends soon. See the latest tech. We gotta try this out. Discover the freshest trends. I feel it. It's your guide to what's new. Everything old is new again. And what's next. Oh, wow. Watch TechSmart with Rich DeMuro. Only on the KTLA 5 Morning News, LA's very own. Now at 8, NFL fans upset this morning saying they were locked out of watching a big game. Now viewers are threatening to boycott a major streaming service. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Myers here in Glendale. Quite a few stores are open. If you still have that last-minute shopping to do, whether it's for groceries or gifts, we're at the Glendale Fashion Center, which their stores are open as well. I'll have the latest coming up. And if you're buying a last-minute gift, make sure to check your list twice before checkout. One family made a major mistake when it comes to Disney tickets. We'll tell you about it. And we will see more sunshine today than what we saw yesterday afternoon. But the good news is it's dry today and tomorrow. But we could see a little bit of shower activity by the when end of the week. All that and more coming up. morning and welcome to the KTLA Weekend Morning News at 8 a.m. I'm Pedro Vera. And I'm Lauren Lister. We thank you so much for joining us on this Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yeah, Merry That's Christmas good. to all who celebrate. Yes. We're tracking Santa. We are. He's a busy guy. Busy guy. He was over Brunei last hour. He was. We need to see where he's at now. He did stop off in Whittier to take uh, to talk to Jasmine yeah. for a little bit, but now he's back in the air. So we're going to track NORAD and, and yeah. track his movements. I know one place he won't go today. Where's that? My house. Oh, <laughs> Casey's on the yeah. naughty list. Yeah, she's on. Pedro has just <laughs> saved you from saying it. All right. Uh, we've been following this LAX camera for days, and look at this. This is even worse than this time yesterday. Getting into the horseshoe, this is backed way up today. Uh, but notice there's a little more sunshine shining on those cars sitting in traffic. So if you're headed to the airport to pick someone up, take someone out of town, this is what you are going to experience at LAX this morning. You know, I did drive to the Inland Empire yesterday after work, and traffic was actually not that bad, so it probably will be a little bit lighter today. Clouds this morning, sunshine, though, this afternoon, and that is just a cool shot we get to see this morning as we wake up. Temperatures are going to be very close to average for us for the next couple of days, maybe a little bit above for the first part of the week. 56 at LAX, it's 51 in Riverside, 55 in Palm Springs and 50 degrees right now in Chino. But this afternoon, this is what we can expect for high temperatures. 66 in Ontario, 64 for Santa Monica, 67 for Santa Clarita today, and 59 in Palmdale. Back to you. Casey, thank you. If you're finishing up your holiday shopping today, you are not alone. You are cutting it close, though. <laughs> you are. Our local malls are already filling up with shoppers, all those looking for last-minute gifts. And that's where we find our Erin Meyer. She's live in Glendale Fashion Center, where final shopping rush is on right now. So you started your morning having some portos. I, I hope you, uh, you got to grab some for yourself. Are you doing <laughs> any last-minute shopping? Hi, you guys. Good morning. I need to do last-minute shopping. The only ones I've gotten gifts for so far are my pets. No family members or friends yet, so maybe after work today I'll get a little shopping in. I actually just went in to TJ Maxx and looked around, and they have a good selection left, and they opened up early here today at 7. The Ross is also open, and then I believe Nordstrom Rack just opened as well, so there's still time to get those last-minute gifts, and a lot of people are doing that last-minute shopping. Some yesterday as well. The National Retail Federation estimates nearly 100 142 million shoppers went to stores or shopped online yesterday. The National Retail Federation also predicted that U.S. holiday sales would rise between 3 to 4 percent November through December, though that is lower than last year's increase of 5.4 percent. As for online sales, Adobe Analytics expected that to rise 4.8 percent from last year between November and the end of the year. Experts say consumers are focused on finding the best deals and holding out for the lowest prices. That's according to the International Council to Shopping Centers. And many stores do have those 
those incentives and deals as they try to keep shoppers shopping. Now, Nerd Wallet says nearly 222 million Americans, which is about 85%, plan to purchase gifts for friends and loved ones this holiday season. On average, people are expected to spend about $831 or more than $184 billion on holiday gifts this year. Nerd Wallet also says inflation will tighten holiday budgets. More than half of 2023 holiday shoppers won't be able to buy as many gifts as they like to this year due to inflation. But hey, you get to spend time with family, and that's what it's all about. Uh, we spoke with Benjamin, who was getting some goodies for his family this morning at Porto's. Oh, I got to feed the family. <laughs> yeah, I got to get some desserts, you know. <laughs> what kind of desserts do you get from here? Oh, cheese rolls for sure. That's what they're known for, right? So cheese rolls. Get out, get done, then take a nap, then get ready for Christmas. Any plans tomorrow? Stay home, hopefully. Stay home, open gifts, eat some leftover cheese rolls, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. And I learned cheese rolls are very popular at Porto's. If you are doing your shopping today, you'll probably want to check the store hours as they vary. They're probably different than their normal hours. As for here at the Glendale Fashion Center, I know TJ Maxx, they're staying open until about 6.30 and then Ross until 10. Reporting live here in Glendale, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Oh, Ross is staying open late. That's, nice. your, that's your bet if you need so a last minute gift. All right, Erin, thanks. If you are buying a last minute gift, make sure to double check what you're buying. TikToker Andy Costin says her parents bought $10,000 worth of Disney gift cards to gift the whole family a Disney getaway to make their grandkids wishes come true. The problem, when she went to use the gift cards, they wouldn't work. That's because all of the gift cards were for Disney's streaming service, Disney Plus, not the actual theme park. TikTok blew up with this post. Costin says her parents are older and weren't aware of Disney Plus. The good news here, because this TikTok got so much attention, within 24 hours, Disney reached out to help the family fix the issue and turn the Disney Plus gift cards into park gift cards. Hmm. So I'm glad it turned out that way. That was a bummer of a mistake. Good for them. Yeah. All right, the NFL showing an exclusive game on Peacock yesterday, and some fans just flat out hated it. It was the 5 o'clock game between the Chargers and the Bills. It was a big game for the Bills. <coughs> Peacock is a subscription-based streaming service that has recently reached deals to broadcast select games. This left many fans upset as they now were forced to pay a monthly subscription fee to watch one game. This year, the NFL also reached a deal with Amazon Prime, which exclusively shows Thursday night football games. So here's a post one fan did to show just how he was feeling about this, how he's not upset. He says, I pay for Sunday ticket, Amazon Prime, and local cable. You think that would be enough, but someone at NFL thought that they could make more money by putting a primetime game as an exclusive on Peacock. I hope this streaming service dies just for this reason. Oh. End quote. The consensus is there's too many games spread across too many streaming services. Yes. It was a good game, too, with the Bills winning by just two points on a go-ahead field goal in the final seconds. It is too much. You know what, though? Pe they, we need to leave Peacock for a while until I finish suit season nine. I love Peacock. But what I'm saying is what I think they should do is if you pay for NFL Sunday ticket, you should have access to All every game. single game. Yes. It doesn't matter. You're I agree. For it. I agree with you, so, Pedro. Yeah, I mean, Thursdays, you got to go to... And then Amazon. Amazon, and then you have... I think ESPN on Monday nights, and then I have these Saturday games. You know games. who really Ugh. wins here? You win if you just aren't a football fan. Yeah, then it's not a problem. Well, it's I just watch everything on Sling. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's, winning right now? Let's, let's, yeah, let's talk about our other big story today, Santa. Here's a live look at the NORAD tracker. So where is Santa now? Just left Laos, headed to Burma. So Santa is in Asia. Nice. Expected to come to our neck of the woods this evening. We hope. We hope. Yeah, we hope. Yeah, you're nice. You'll find out. Soon I think enough. he'll want to come though because we're not gonna have any rain, no heavy wind. Be nice weather. Strong winds. I mean heavy winds. He's Those winds are heavy. <laughs> Tons of gifts. Santa's coming. To oh boy. Okay, so Casey okay. and I <laughs> have something to share. Okay. For four and five. Doug, Doug doesn't care, but that's okay. Doug doesn't care about this. Yeah. So Doug. some people have children and they take portraits with their children. Mm -hmm. Some people have dogs, and they take portraits with their dogs, which okay. is a, I'm, I'm new to this family. But you also Because I am a new dog mom. You're a stepmom, too, though. But I am a stepmom, and so okay. pictures with the kids is something we do. But pictures with dogs, being a dog mom is new. Casey's uh -huh. rubbing up. And Casey is showing me the ropes. Okay. Want to see? Would you like to see the results? I, I need to see. Okay, so first Casey, she is a pro. She was like, 
Hey, dog. That means so good in this dog photo shoot. She totally knew everything. These are on the iPad. Look at that. <laughs> so Look that's at Casey and her dogs and my dog. That's, that's Lauren's dog. dog too. Yeah. Oh, so you just took her dog? No, there's no, 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 wait, no, that's, but there's wait, there's more. Okay, so there's. These are professional look photos. At, yeah, look professional at Annabelle. photos. So did they touch up the dogs? Oh yeah, they make up. Is this, is this real? Yeah, <laughs> this is real. Thank Keep going, Annabelle. Which Keep going. That? That's, that's Annabelle. Right? Annabelle's such a good poser. Look at Ross. Wow. Look at her tail. <laughs> Between the legs, that makes you scared. So right? cute. Okay, all of them together. I mean, Roxy's the nice one. Uh, Annabelle? Woo. Annabelle, it, that dog is my soulmate, Stay Pedro. Away. Watch what you say. All right, keep going. There's, there's more. So cute. I, sh I should have stayed back there. Okay, I said so doesn't care. Here is, here is my dog's first professional photo shoot. Ready we for it? We need it. We need it. Oh, look at that. Look at that face. Oh, look at Ginger. I mean, you guys, but seriously, how good is that picture? Also, Lauren has a commitment issue, so she can't post on her Instagram uh, feed. She can only post on her stories because of her commitment problem. Wait, so what? she prompts, it's a thing. Casey just gives me a hard time. Um, so she promised oh, to post this. That.